So the research that I've been undertaking that's of interest to digital futures is really looking at individual differences in the way people deal with their work email and also in terms of their connectivity behaviours. So there's lots of information out there at the moment in the public domain about how we should be managing our work email. We get this from email gurus and websites. We even have organisations developing policies and initiatives and guidance. Email free Fridays, only check your inbox two or three times a day. But a lot of this is not based on academic research evidence. And so what I've been very interested in looking at in my own research is understanding how people are actually dealing with their work email and how this impacts their well-being and their productivity in work. So what I found is that there are significant individual differences in the way that people deal with their work email and interact um, with connectivity at work and therefore we can't necessarily use just blanket policies and blanket guidance that everybody is going to respond equally well to. So some of the research that I've been involved in, for example, has looked at personality differences and how people deal with work email. So individuals who are conscientious, which means that they're hardworking and industrious and interested in achieving their goals as effectively as possible, are best disposed to resist the lure of an email interruption. They're quite capable of ignoring it. But the impact that this has on them is that it can cause them to feel very stressed. And it also means that they don't necessarily feel that they're achieving their work goals as effectively as they want to. And this is likely to be because conscientious people are trying to stick to their tasks at work, but they're also very aware when new notifications come in that actually there's other things that require their attention and they don't like having to leave that. So an immediate policy implication of that would be that for people who are more conscientious than the average would probably work best with work email by switching off their notifications. Notifications are clearly a stressor for them because it makes them feel like they're missing important things, but then to be checking in regularly with their email to ensure that they're not leaving things for too long and that they're attaining their work goals in the way that they want to. Some of the other research that I've undertaken has looked at people with higher levels of extroversion. So these people uh, like to receive a variety and uh, stimulation from their social environment. And we hypothesise that for extroverts, if they're feeling bored or they're feeling tired, when they receive new notifications and new work email, that can actually be quite a positive thing for them because it can re-energise them and stimulate them um, and enable them to be more active in their work tasks. But actually what we found with extroverts was that extroverts who were feeling tired at the point at which a new email interruption came in um, were boosted, so they did feel a renewed sense of energy and attended to their work tasks more effectively. But if they were feeling bored, then the new incoming email actually depleted them further. So it indicated to us that there are times when even the most um, interested people in social stimulation and novelty and variety are receiving new notifications. This can actually be depleting in terms of their resources and in terms of actually making their well-being um, worse. Another set of studies that we've looked at looks at people's preferences in regards to connectivity outside of working hours. And we tend to find that um, individuals are somewhere along a continuum of wanting to be entirely integrated. So their work and their home domains are fully integrated. They deal with home issues when they're at work, they deal with work issues when they're at home. Whereas other people at the other end of the continuum are segmenters. So they want to keep their work and their home life completely separate and when they're in one domain they don't allow activity from the other domain to infiltrate it. At least these are their personal preferences. And what we found is that people who are high segmenters, when they have to deal with work um, outside of working hours, so they're connecting in with their smartphones or their laptops, um, then their well-being is depleted as a result of that because they're having to act out of accordance with their natural preference, which is to keep those domains completely separate. And we would have predicted that. But an interesting finding that we didn't necessarily predict was that if you're a high integrator 
and you're dealing with um, work email and connecting to work outside of working hours, not only does that not deplete your well-being, it actually boosts your well-being. So engaging with um, work outside of working hours can actually be a very positive thing for some people. So if you're someone of an integrated bent, so you're interested in marrying work and home life, um, then you actually feel better when you've had the opportunity to do that outside of working hours. And we suspect that this is because for them this is a way of redressing a balance, that potentially during their work day they've had to deal with home issues and therefore in the evening perhaps or on weekends when they're dealing with work issues, this boosts their well-being because they feel that they're redressing the balance and they're getting on top of things that might otherwise have, have been left undone. So all of this research is really interesting because what it reminds us is that with all of the advances in new technology and our ability to connect to work outside of working hours, there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. People are dealing with new technology, dealing with work communications in different ways, and this is differently impacting people's well-being, their goal achievement and their productivity. And we need to, as policymakers and advisors, be very mindful of the fact that individuals have different preferences and different needs that we need to be attending to in both the design of our technology and in terms of the guidance and the policy that we are releasing as academics to help people to understand how we need to best deal with new technology as we move forward into the fourth industrial revolution. So I'd like to be able to use this research to help organisations and also end users understand how we can manage and deal with new technology and work email in a way that suits and is tailored to individual needs and preferences rather than is simply a one-size-fits-all blanket approach to saying this is the new technology we have and this is how you need to deal with it. Mm -hmm.